Hey everyone, it is Evelyn Tribble here, Norwex Independent Sales Consultant, and today um, is episode 11 with our Lunch Break with Evelyn live show where I come on and we just kind of show you different tips and things that you can use in your home. So most moms, we struggle, you know, with chores, um, you know, just the chore of cleaning in general um, because our home <laughs> because it's we know that it's only going to get dirty five minutes after the children arrive home from school right um, so <laughs> we have a way um, as Norwex consultants we have a way that help these moms um, just not only spend less time in their cleaning um, but also save them money on the cost of the cleaners and also help them show the kids how to clean up their own messes because now this is a safe, non-toxic way of cleaning, right? Um, so then we can spend time doing what we most love and want to do with our children. And I think that's important. I think that's the wonderful thing that we have the opportunity of doing as Norwex Independent Consultants. Um, one of the wonderful things. So what I'm going to be showing today for episode 11, just to put it into context, because if you're watching the replay, today is happens to be uh, the week of um, St. Patrick's Day. So today is the 19th of March, two days after St. Patrick's Day, and it's also a time where we just kind of start doing a lot of spring cleaning, right? So what I'm going to show you today is how to do your windows um, from the actual glass uh, to the window screens. So because it is a lot of, you know, it's a beautiful sunny day and uh, daylight, I'm gonna, ha I have like some really pink um, makeup, you know, that usually you use for blush. Um, and I'm just gonna put it on there so that you can actually see what we're dealing with. Um, and as a matter of fact, these windows have been, you know, they, they're, they're filthy with a lot of pollen. Um, just from the outdoors in the long winter, right? Um, and so we're gonna smear it just a little bit more just to emphasize what maybe it may look like um, even with the kids coming home and maybe not washing their hands right away and then just putting, you know, handprints on the windows or even on the doorknobs, right? Um, and or even the, the, the doors to the pantry or the refrigerator who has stainless steel. Oh my goodness, that's probably the worst, where you kind of just see the imprints of all of that um, just being left behind on your surface. Okay, so one of the things that we've learned this year, and if you haven't watched this yet, go back to the first episode that we um, put out this year, but this is the Envir cloth, um, and you know it's, it's very unique for three different ways, just if you haven't caught up yet, um, Three different distinct reasons that this is uh, unique is just because of the, the size of the fiber, the density, and of course it does have the silver technology. And of course the density, it's it's amazing, right? Um, it's just very, very thin. It's one two hundredth the size of a single strand of human hair. And then it is, you know, if you were to stretch out that fiber, it reached from Canada to Mexico. That's a lot, <laughs> that's a lot. And that is why um, the density and the size of it, it, you're able to just hold on and grab a bunch of the bacteria from your surface. Now your surface can be your body, and we have a cloth for your body. Um, your surface can be your window in this case, or your surface can even be a spot on your carpet. All right, um, so I'm gonna be showing you how to remove this amazing mess from my mirror or from my window here. But of course now you can see how all of that is on here. It's very important that you hold it flat and not crunch because you see all those little um, spots in there. You can't, all those holes, you can't possibly grab onto the, you know, the bacteria from your surface that way. So you, you fold it in half, fold it in half again, and you have eight nice sides. So I am going to do my entire um, glass. Now how do you do your spring cleaning? If you um, once you do that, you're going to follow up with your window cloth, right? 
Okay, now, um, I don't know if some of you have these windows, but you can actually pop out the windows and then you can clean this side of it. Um, and this is where you see a lot of the pollen, right? So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. And then I'm gonna show you all the stuff that it picked up. There's also pollen that you get, you hear, you see all that, it's just stuff that got, kind of gets caked on. And then here is um, a bunch of the dirt that comes out just from the pollen. And of course you're gonna follow up with your window cloth to get a nice streak free window. All right, I'm gonna pop this back in. And there you go. All right, so now you can see all the stuff that came out and this is the white stuff. Um, so if I open up my cloth, you can see why you wanna use it. You wanna fold in half and fold again, right? All right, now I'm gonna turn this over once again because now I have four more sides to work with. And the stuff that I want to clean, really the rest of it is the inside where the rim is. I wanna also clean that up with my Enviro cloth. All right, so I'm gonna do that real quick here. So then there you go. All the stuff that's just coming out. And look at this. And you see how it's holding on? Well, that's the fibers at work, holding on. That's the one two hundredths the size of a single strand of human hair. That's how thin that fiber is. And it is, it's able to pick up, grab, and hold on to all this stuff. And now I'm gonna turn it over one more time because I still have two more sides to work with. All right, now before I get to that part, what I'm gonna show you next is this window screen. I have pulled it out already. This is the dusting mitt. Dusting mitt, usually you use it dry, and of course you use it dry. It works off a of static, you know, statically charged when you rub it like this. It's a plush type of microfiber, same idea as the um, and buyer cloth and the window cloth. However, this is meant more for dusting and when you use it dry, you can dust your lampshades, you can hold on, you know, you can actually use two and you can pick up your lampshade, you can pick up your frames, you can dust around it, kind of dust as you go or, or along, right? Now, a trick for spring cleaning your window screens is to wet it. And when you wet it and then wring it out, you know, you're left with a wet, damp um, dusting mitt. And this is great for really cleaning your window screen. So I'm just gonna take it and just go to work to clean. And I'm just kinda going like this. And it makes it nice because a dusty mitt kind of, you know, it's it works from your hand. It's like you're holding on to something, but you're cleaning as you go along. So now you can see how great this is a great tool for cutting time for those mamas that don't like this chore of cleaning, you know? And especially when it comes to spring cleaning because um, Maybe not today is a good example, but today it's kind of cold outside, um, but it's beautiful. So it makes you want to be outside. Um, but knowing that you have the chore of cleaning, you know, it cuts away the time that you can spend outside with the kids all the time, right? At some point, those chores are gonna have to get done. And what awesome way to adapt Norwex into your home and save you time in your cleaning, of course, but also
save you the money. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not using paper towels. I'm not using newspaper. <laughs> I'm not using window cleaner. And I'm sure enough not using a disinfectant wipe or anything like that. So you can see that I'm not using chemicals at all. I'm just using microfiber. But it's a specific microfiber. It's the Norwex microfiber. And again, those um, reasons that I stated at the beginning of how different it is, here's all that I picked up. And look, I now have another side that I can work with. So what I just do is I change hands and I flip it over, right? I've saved money, I've saved time, and when I'm done with this, I'm just gonna stick it in the washing machine and you know dry it in the dryer. And so now I've saved me money in the long run because I'm not having to continuously buy all these cleaners and paper towels and things like that. All right, so did I do this? All right, I'm gonna do this side. Okay, now, yep, just had to do that side. Okay, so now you can see I'm not gonna be nitpicky about these things necessarily, but what if I had more of a sticky mess? Like, what do you do about that? Well, there is a cleaning solution that we have. It's called the cleaning paste. It is amazing. This cleaning paste, when you open it, does not look like a paste. In fact, it's actually more like solid, right? But when you take um, when you take your EnviroCloth or even a wet Spiri sponge, it creates more of a paste. So you can actually use this on your stove top. You can use it on sharpie messes that maybe you know get put on hard you know wood wood um, furniture or something like that. Okay. Um, you can use it to clean your shoes, whiten up your shoes, but really it's great for these sticky messes that you get that maybe don't come off so nicely with the microfiber. There is a cleaning solution, and this cleaning paste will last you for ever. <laughs> um, I really, it's like one to two years, depending on how long, how much, and you know, you use it and for what purposes you're using it for. Um, some people just use it for their stove top and they prefer just using it for their stove top. Some people use it actually to clean off their headlights, um, you know, like the bugs from the headlights. So this is one of those special products that you can keep handy. We almost call it your elbow grease in a jar. And when you need a little bit more, you just apply more and or maybe wet wet, wet your spear sponge, wet your Enviro cloth, and, um, and then just wipe away. So I hope that was helpful to you and having some great tips for you, especially as a mom who may be struggling with the chore of cleaning your home, right? And just not wanting to spend time in it, knowing that you have to, but at the same time, you'd rather spend time doing things that you want to do really with your kids, but then you get frustrated, right? Because you do, you clean up, you take the effort, you do, you do what you have to do, and then the kids come home, and then it just messes it all up five, ten minutes later, and you're just like, ah, well, I think it's wonderful now that we can provide solutions um, to not only save you time in, in cleaning, I mean, I can just go to the next window, really, if I wanted to, and just keep going until, you know, I've filled up all of this. When I'm done, I can just go and rinse off my cloth, um, scrub the fibers against each other, right, and then move on to my next window or to my next task, or my next cleaning surface. You can use this to clean virtually every part of your home, any surface that you might call a surface. So it could be your toilets, it could be your kitchen sinks, it could be your you know, bathroom sinks, your showers, the tile, even down to the floor or spot on the carpet. And then of course we've saved you time and money um, because now you don't have to go out to the store and buy those cleaners and buy those paper towels consistently. And um, Ooh, over a course of one, two years where there's a two year warranty on our cloth, wow, you've saved a ton. I know our family personally has saved $75 a month. That's $900 a year. Um, a huge savings over time and now we're four and a half years in of using 
um, these products that only require water. Um, so now you can see how it's also a very healthy, non-toxic way of cleaning and how you can then teach your children to apply the same things that you've done here to their bathroom, to their own toilets, to their own sinks, right? Um, they can help with the windows and the mirrors and dusting their own room. And of course, if they can vacuum or do a, an iPad or, or an iPhone, which nowadays they can, they can most definitely use the mop as well. And of course, the mop is the greater solution for us saving our backs and not having to get down on our knees um, and having to use the EnviroCloth on the floors, on hands and knees, but now you can use it as a mop form too. So they do have a mop form. And, um, and of, yeah, so now we can spend more time with our kids. So I hope you enjoyed episode 11 of the um, Lunch Break with Evelyn show and that these are great solutions for you. I'd love to know if you could place in the comments below, what is your biggest cleaning challenge? Is it the windows? Is it the toilets, the bathroom? Maybe it's, you know, the hard water stains that you might have, um, or maybe it is the floors. I'd love to know if you could place that in the comments below and, um, I'd love to hear from you as well. So we'll be back here next week for our episode, our next episode of the Nor um, Evelyn Tribble, Norwex um, independent consultant here and live show. All right, thanks again. Have a good day.